it's me, Rudo, back here with Fireman 3 Houses, where I did a bit of fishing and all that junk off camera last time, although I didn't make very much money from it, made about a thousand gold after for all the 50 fish I caught, which is kind of lame. Profit, that is. But never mind that, and I believe I planted the, the today this week's seeds already. Yes, it was those, and I think we got some premium magic herbs out of that. Ooh, and that. Eat the plant, yum. Nim, 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 nim. Where did I put the tomahawk? I found it. So since we uh, we were able to get done all of our supports last time for that are happening currently, it, all we've got to do at the moment is go around and talk to everyone in the monastery, get quests and the like. People returning to the city, well how good news is that? It's so good news. Arcane Crystal, booyah! The good news doesn't stop. <laughs> Still got nine activity points. I did a one uh, tourney already to get a bit more money for the greenhouse because I have none since we bought all those legend all that legendary gear and stuff. Hey Ash. The area around Castle Gaspar, where I was living, is under the control of House Roe, who have submitted to the Empire. Yeah, is, is us having murderized Gwendol last time gonna be a problem? If I hadn't come to Garrick Mach, I might have ended up as your enemy at ALL. Oh, well, good thing that didn't happen. That's what makes me really happy to be here now. Hey, I'm happy you're here too. I don't think I would have been able to handle facing all of you in battle. If I had to face you in battle, I would, well, given your defense that it would be easy technically, <laughs> but it would be very difficult emotionally. Don't worry, Ash. We've all made our choices, and we all understand that none of us want this, so no one's gonna be angry at you if they end up in the same situation you were just describing. At least I hope not. Hey, Gatekeeper! Hi, thanks, professor. Nothing to report. Good is news to me. Good is news to me. Shield of Fargus. I was mm -hmm. imagining a more stern-faced fellow, but he's actually quite friendly. I know! Shocking. He just, just he's like super personable, loves talking to people. You know, except Felix doesn't think that, but I heard that he recently spent the night drinking in the dining hall with soldiers from the church. Sounds like him. And he didn't invite me! No, I really shouldn't be consuming alcohol in situations like this, I suppose. Still haven't gotten those resources. I still need peach currant, don't I? And I don't it's probably one of the like western Fodland seeds or whatever that I that gives us that, or like fruit seeds, mixed fruit seeds maybe. But I don't wanna give up my my slots for flower seeds that might give us the permabuffs, and I don't know that. Does it tell you how much renown it gives you? Well, 3,000 gold's a lot, but 300 renown is not, you know, tons. So I don't know about uh, if I'm gonna, like, actively pursue that one. We have, at least there's one other quest around the monastery. This, yeah, just the one it looks like over here. So I guess we'll be talking to whoever that is and seeing what that's about mm, very soon. Is he sane? Ha! <laughs> it's a pretty loaded question there. Leaving the house in my uncle's hands? What is the old man thinking? He's thinking his brother would handle it. He was very clear. I mean, I know you just said that as well with uncle, but... I always knew my father was mad, but this time he's gone too far. I'm actually grateful to him. Easy for you to say. You hardly know the man. The uncle, you mean? Only a fool would abandon his own territory. Oh, or you mean Rodrigue. Well, would you prefer he just take his soldiers all back? Jeez. Think it through a little, Felix. <laughs> From the outset, House Regan and House Gloucester have been fighting over leadership of the Alliance. Then this war comes along, and their opinions are split about whether to ally with the Empire or not. Well, at the very least, that probably means that by the end of this, one of them is going to be less prominent and the fighting will stop being an issue in the Alliance, their I hope. Their existing enmity only worsened, leading them to full-on conflict with one another. However, the leader of the Alliance is a very shrewd man. It's difficult to predict what he'll do at this point. Right, you're not told about all those things that we're planning to do with him. Right, of course, of course, of course. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it'll all turn out well somehow, not that I have any such right, insight. Right. Do you really think it's a good idea to trust Claude? Wait, you know about it. <laughs> Can you go and inform your friend? They seem to know, have no idea whatsoever about what's going on. Are you hungover? If you let yourself get taken in by his silver tongue, you might wind up regretting it. We'll see about that. Five years ago... I was taken in by his tricks myself. Meaning what precisely? I was given a long and grueling lecture by my unit leader that day. Ugh. The memory of it is still too painful. I assume you mean painful in the literal sense that he poisoned you somehow. He really does like poisoning people. It doesn't even just just a friendly poisoning sometimes. Hey Mercy. Ah, well that was everyone's concern earlier, so I'm happy to hear that. Soldiers to feed now, so we'll still need to ration, but I think we have enough extra to make some tasty treats. I'll go scout the pantry. Best of luck. That would be wonderful. We can enjoy it together over some tea. Ah, yes. I won't be doing that with you because I already just spent another month doing that last month. I can't have all the tea to yourself, Mercy. We don't really have much for tea left. <laughs> 
It'll be enough for our purposes, I suppose. We should definitely make uh, some food, I think. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we've made food with everyone at this point. Let's make some of that then. Deified fish. Ooh, 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 ooh. We could do, we could do this one. We could do this one. Get deck speed and defense. Ooh, tempting. I guess really we should save this for like the last boss or whatever, right? Probably. Well, we can still make something else for us uh, this month. I'm thinking we want some health or strength, probably. Just get that absolute consistent tanky heartiness. Let's get some health going. King of Beasts, time to cook some bear, Ash. Have you ever cooked bear before? I love to cook. What are we making today? Bear! That's so. Yes, wasn't lying. I have a lot of experience in the kitchen. I can make just about anything. I hope that includes bear. Splendid. Great. I mean, I suppose it would be pretty straightforward to make bear. Hello. Boo! It's not that scary. <laughs> There's an orange dot around here. What's that about? Is that Rodrigo, I guess? Just as someone who's not in our party? Oh yeah, it is. Hey, Rodrigo, how's it going? Apparently you've been living it up with the folks. And, uh... Is it... I just... Are you doing that again, or...? Can I come? Even after all these decades, the Academy hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> Except for the several walls that have been blown out. I it well, even now. I used to sneak out of lectures with Lambert almost every day. I have the sense this conversation is going to go in a direction that I don't need to hear about. That's well and good. Keep it to yourself, TMI. I suppose this is not the time for an old man's nostalgia. We have received approval from House... We're good time as any. We should set out as soon as you're ready. Okay. That will be a month, though, just so we're clear. I have many practice battles I need to do. Hey, Flane. Yup, this is your old classroom. How are you feeling sentimental about that? here brings back all manner of memories. Hmm. Days I spent studying here with you and everyone else. Those days were so special to me. They were special to me too. Some of my favorite meals were from those days. They were truly some of the warmest days of my life. I hold them dear in my heart. Well, I'm glad to hear that. To be forced to fight with those I was once so close to, my friends. It is most saddening. Yes, it's not. Okay, well, I sort of came into that with the wrong energy. My apologies. <gasps> you can teach me lens. No, 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 no. We have other things. I get the sense I'm telling you to hang in there basically every month, but hang in there, Flane. <laughs> Even war must end. Sylvain, so how are we? Hope you're recovering from that all that heat stroke we all suffered. I had an encounter with Lord Gwendol. How many years ago was it? <laughs> an encounter, he says. Right before the Academy, I met this girl who I fell madly in love with, and her dad tried to kill me. You mean, like, in the proverbial sense, or like, actually tried to end your life? I suppose he just tried to scare me, but I was sure I was gonna die. Ah. Oh yeah, her dad? Lord Gwendol. So, good call I didn't take you then. Crazy, right? I never thought I'd seriously be trying to kill the guy in battle. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't know how to make sense of it. It's a mad world we live in. Well, I'm glad everyone's just so totally stewing in, in how uh, terrible it is that they have to fight people from their own territory and stuff. I mean, fighting people in general, but... Hey, Grid. Just like House Fraldarius. House Galatea is currently being invaded by the dukedom. Mm-hmm. Still a stupid name. My family is not as wealthy as most others, so we are incapable of sparing resources or reinforcements. Hey, <laughs> you supplied us with one single Ingrid, and that's honestly enough. I'm sorry. It's just so frustrating not being able to do anything to help. It's not... It doesn't fall to you to, <laughs> to magically make money appear and resources in your house, so I wouldn't worry about it. I appreciate the support all that you are able to give, which is... To be fair, tremendous. Professor. Hey. We were raised by Lord Rodrigue himself to be the elite of the elite. Is that Even right? Our enemy is the Empire's vast army. We can overcome the difference in numbers. Oh, right. Your soldiers here from House Raldarius. I was like, all the soldiers in Garrick Mocker? Yes, you guys are pretty elite from what I saw last time. There were two of you and you were taking out like five horse people. One thing that could prove to be a problem is if our food and supplies don't hold up. Well, I was told you brought a lot. <laughs> we attacked the Imperial capital before the Kingdom capital. We'll have to be swift if we want to prevail. Yeah. But on the plus side, provided we seize the Imperial capital, that means a lot of resources to take back the rest of the place. So we're basically in the clear once we do that, if it should happen. Hey, Gerald. How are things? We're still warmly embraced. Good. If it gets chilly, let me know. I'll bring a... Well, I don't know what I'll bring. I'll put a duvet over your headstone. Hey! Uh. hey. Well, I missed someone in the stable. Who be cleaneth out the horse... clop? Who would like to speak to me? Oh, it's you. Hello. Why do the snipers have the little floppy hats? I've heard of this Acheron fellow, <laughs> described as an ineffectual leader. Count Burglis has held the position of Minister of Military Affairs for the Empire ever since the days of Emperor Ionius. 
Ooh, yeah. I I cut his little brother in half earlier. Is that bad? Or his son? No, his son. Sorry. Do you think he'll hold that over me, or do you think does he seem like the kind of dude who would forgive that? The current emperor seems to have brought the corrupt nobility to heal, but Count Berkeley's looks to be an exception. Ah, so you're saying I'm I cut in half the son of the corrupt one? Oh, good. So that bodes well and all. What? Hey there. Lord Gwendol was pretty tough. If only he'd been on our side, he would have been a great ally. Well, three effective speed. I wouldn't <laughs> bemoan it too much. But it was Lord Gwendol himself who made the decision to throw his lot in with the Empire alongside his liege. Yes, he made his choice and stuck through with it. I suppose that's respectable in the end. I will neither pity him nor mourn for him. It would be an insult to his honor. I don't know that I exactly <laughs> see your point there, but... The path of justice, as long as life endures. That is the duty of a knight of Farkas. And so we're just not allowed to be sad about it? Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that person. Okay, I guess. Suppressing my emotions for the win, I understand. Good, good, good. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Gilbert! Pardon me? I heard something that I'm pretty sure he didn't say. Deliver the requested- Oh, I've got Peach Current. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. I didn't realize I had that. Where did I get it? I thank you for procuring resources. This isn't much, but please accept it along with my gratitude. 3,000 gold and 300 renown is not much, is a Mr. House. High Standards. Fealty to the royal family at the kingdom's founding. The current mm. family head, Lord Rodrig, was raised like a brother to the former king. <laughs> That's not how I heard it. He harbors a loyalty that goes beyond mere duty. Perhaps this is why he was willing to lend us his aid. Or maybe he just doesn't want everyone to die. Maybe it goes beyond honor and, and, and loyalty and is an actual personal virtue of his. I, I guess you could request. argue those two are personal virtues. It seems that despite the danger, the merchant traffic continues to increase. We should take action before there is an incident. To ensure the safety of traveling merchants, take down bandits on the trade route. On, once you complete this quest, a new merchant will appear in the marketplace. Ooh, sweet. So I guess we'll do that on the same episode we do the next... It's thinking. Give it a minute. Paralog. Dusker infantry? Ooh. And moose. Ooh, that's rare. Cool. So that'll be this day. I'll do the rare monster off camera, and then I'll come uh, on camera to do that that uh, mission, which will probably take not very much time. I'm going to guess there's a suggested level, and that it's very low. It does not say it right. It only does it on the battle screen. We shall see. I wonder if Dimitri's gonna give me a more than a two-word uh, sentence today. Hello? All we do is battle. The fighting never stops, and it's turning everyone's disposition dour. Even the ladies. We should throw a banquet to lift everyone's spirit. Good idea, I'll see what I can do. How selfless of you, it's too soon to let down our guard. Good idea, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Sometimes the, one that's, the, the, the obvious, answer seems so obvious that it's like, I'm, am I overthinking this? Am I underthinking this? I should just agree, right? <laughs> Panic, agree! Hey, Dimmy? Ah, Lipsy's your favorite quote nowadays. If you stand I will strike you down. Okay. Good morning. Okay. Good afternoon. Do I have renown? <laughs> Excitement. Do I go for a lance and then faith, or do I save up for one of the XP? You know what? I'm thinking about saving up the XP because it's either authority, which I don't really feel the need to anyone like. I don't feel like anyone's like so desperately behind in that that I need a better battalion for or whatever. And this one has lance and faith. Lance is helpful for Sylvain and a few others, but mostly Sylvain. And Faith is good for several people, of course, but I think it can wait, kind of, <laughs> is, my, is my feeling on that. And then past the uh, authority thing, all the... But past Lance, Faith, and Authority, everything is just the XP plus 10, and then uh, the, the the max caps go up. But I, we're not going to get hit the caps very soon anyway, so I would definitely want the XP plus 10 way before that. So I'm going to save up for one of the XP ones now, I think. Ciao! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yes! Always check the well for arcane crystals. You never know what they might haul up. I mean, d we may as well just b remove this well at this point and just dig down, right? Because clearly we've hit upon some kind of magic gold mine. Why am I not allowed to walk right here? Whoa. Is it just the box for the well? Okay, it's weirdly diamondy. Anyone hanging out on the dorm floor who isn't a story character and is thus not highlighted on the big map? No. Probably are some loose items hanging around uh, people's rooms and stuff, but... I suppose it's not worth wandering around too much. Hubert's room. I guess it would be all cleaned out. Look at all the books he left. My goodness. Uh, let's see. 
Guide to the Most Intimidating Coat Collars, How to Curb Your Blood Addiction, Diary of Times I've Helped Lady Edelgard. Okay, this is boring stuff. Ah, and everyone's still hanging around the library that was here before, which is to say no one that I can talk to. You know, it seems weird that this wall is kind of bare here. I wonder if more books unlock somehow. Maybe like later in the story or something. <laughs> Someone's having a very heated discussion over here about something. So we still haven't spoken to who? I don't think we've spoken to Annette this month or Manuela. Or indeed, Sedith, so they're probably all hanging around here. Manuela in her room, how's it going? Have you just been patching people up and been tiresome lately? Uh, hello there, Professor. Did you need something from me? Nothing in particular. It doesn't look like you're wounded or anything. Are you just looking for someone to talk to? Sure, yeah, let's call it that. Yes. I thought so. Well, I'm here for you. Making you feel better is my top priority. Well, not me specifically, right? Everyone. Making, as in, in the literal sense of being a... A medic on the infirmary. Hmm. Never mind. Pain or worries of the heart, you can me for anything, Professor. I think I'll probably stick on the physical pain spectrum of things I'm coming to you for. On that note, though, my physical pain would be lessened, and I suppose my worries of the heart equally, if you taught me how to fly a bit. Thank you. <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> I can spread my wings and go exploring the vast world. But only after I speak to my friends. Hanging out in the Cardinal's room. Uh, I guess it would definitely be set in the Cardinal's room. Seems like his kind of place to hang around. What is this? Oh, a very pretty bouquet of flowers in the common room. Who, whose desk is this for? Or who is this desk for? This is just a common room. And what is that? It's like an old wagon wheel or something? It's kind of dark. Yeah, Annie and Seth. How's it going, guys? Next, we face the Great Bridge of Murden. We actually crossed it a long time ago. Yes, I know. I was asleep. You can stop making fun Do of me you now. Remember? It was five whole years ago. I. I I don't remember! During the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. It seems like so long ago, doesn't it? It's odd how fast time flies. Yeah. Everyone was still friends then. <laughs> After the fighting, we all ate together without splitting into our separate houses. And now we're less friendly. I often wish we could peaceful days. But it is not to be, unless we reload an old save, which is just... That's just cheating, isn't it? Dory and that we all... I'm sure they all understand. And they all remember you as a friend as well. Probably some of them. Maybe not Lawrence, he just doesn't seem like. He just doesn't seem like. So, the renowned Shield of Farkas is now on our side. That is quite reassuring. I know! Did you see that crit he pulled? Not only will he provide valuable support in battle, but he has also brought us much needed supplies. And a bit of a morale boost, not to mention. We cannot grow complacent, however. We must take the Imperial Capital as soon as possible. Seeing as how that's the route we're going, yes. <laughs> Maybe you could teach me to fly too. Hi <laughs> Thank you. That was my motor. Propelling me into this guy. Hmm. Nothing in. I, lo I love how Seth. <laughs> this is basically Rhea's office or whatever, but it's just called the advisory room. Because I, I imagine this as being the room that Seth brings Rhea aside in when he needs to. He feels the need to confront her about any of the very sketchy things that she tends to do. Let's go up to the third floor and see if there's anything funky going on around here. Anyone going up here and losing items? Anyone drop something in Rhea's room when they were scouring it? Doesn't look like it. Well, that's fun. Let's go have a meal with someone, shall we? Does everyone's motivation at max? I guess we didn't we didn't teach him between last time and now, so probably a lot of them are. Okay, so Sylvain and Mercy. Yes, they both need some. Although, Mercy doesn't like the thing that's uh, the today's special, so let's just have uh, Sylvain and Felix come together, and then we can have Mercy eat something else. Hey, y'all. How you two doing after your A+. I'm happy to eat alone, but all right. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. <laughs> this is my favorite. For a minute, I thought that was Sylvain's special dialogue, but that was that was his way of saying that he didn't absolutely love the food. <laughs> Great, thanks, Felix. You're happy to eat alone. I miss it received. Ooh, fish and bean soup. Let's have Mercy and... I guess any. Why not? We just had them eat together earlier, but this'll work. See how you, you guys again. Don't you go, don't remember, you don't, don't choke in that, that's, that's our little, that's our little running joke. Ah, <laughs> look at us, and our friend circle. Okay, I'm leaving now, bye guys. I'm not touching that bean soup, that sounds disgusting. But well, I've spoken to everyone now and, and picked up every quest in the place, which was one, <laughs> exactly, which we'll be doing next episode, I guess, after I've had time to work through the rest of this month by myself, because it will be a rather... Uh, grueling and, and dull, most of it. But it'll be a, a good time for us to get a lot of our uh, skills up. I reckon Gilbert will be a pretty masterful mage and he'll probably have a healing spell and such by that time. Maybe. Hello. Hello. So while this does, that does make this a, a slightly short episode, I figured that we'd be better than tacking this on to the last support theater because that would probably make that one be a slightly too long episode. <laughs> Something I'm noticing about a lot of the older characters in this game is basically every character who's older than like 20, <laughs> who isn't one of your like 
your your spunky high school buddies has some kind of like age old regret that they've never eased. Like Seth was talking to Felix about how he's all like, oh, I know what it's like to not be be able to have peers around you and stuff like that. And then Rhea has all that stuff. That very intense and strange complex with her mother. And then you have Gilbert, who has this whole thing where having left his family. And now we have here Rodrigue is, is uh, he very much opened to, up to us earlier about how he regrets the things he said to Felix. And he worries that he might have been contributing to why Felix is no longer the happy-go-lucky soul he once was. So I guess, uh, question, since mistakes in our life are inevitable, would you say that as you get older, regret is just a natural part of that? It seems a bit bleak to presume. Though it is a thing that a lot of the, <laughs> the older characters in this game tend to kind of harbor. Hanneman, I guess, less so. But even Manuela, I mean, she's not tremendously older. She's older than 20. I guess with her, it's a little less, like, regret. It's just more acknowledgement that, that she was involved in some bad stuff, and bad stuff was involved with her. Either way, there's that question. Next video is going to be more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, where we just finally beat that mission that took us, like, three episodes. Oh my god. So we're gonna have a chance to go back to our base, uh, recuperate a bit. I'm probably gonna... We should just get into forging weapons in that game, because I keep complaining that people's attack power is just too low for them to make a different too much of a difference by themselves so i gave if i gave like mia a powerful sword or something and we've got plenty of money to back that anyways that's not a, for now it's not a con topic of conversation so hopefully i will see you in that this or another sometime that is that this or another time i guess how how could i why am i supposing that i might potentially see you now that doesn't make any sense if you're hearing this then i am seeing you now it's the most ridiculous outro i've ever done thank you very much for coming on hopefully i will see you around i was gonna be out of here now peace come on amori let's go exploring together Ding! just the two of us hey wait, wait, wait. you can't leave us out of this he's right aubrey we have to do this together as a team you never know when you'll need someone's help we're stronger when we work together <laughs> Amari and I will be fine on our own.